Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what up? Y'all, I am doing this video to hold myself accountable and I'm already nervous. I'm already nervous. I'm nervous because I feel like I'm not gonna hit my goals or I'm gonna get sidetracked and distracted and I'm gonna be using a whole lot of different products instead of the ones that I'm supposed to be sticking to that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So I'm already nervous, okay? I need y'all help. I need y'all to root for me and cheer me on in the comment section because I don't know, I'm just really nervous about making this video. But as you guys can see from the title, this is going to be a project use it up. I am going to challenge myself to use up products in my collection because while it's all fun and games to shop till we drop and buy so many fragrances to review or for our own personal enjoyment, whatever the case may be, after a while, after so many hauls, it starts to become a little bit much. It starts to get just a tad bit overwhelming. And while I do highly encourage just using your things organically and just enjoying them while you have it i'm just not the type of person who wants anything to go bad okay so i feel like even with this large collection that i have i need to focus on using some things up i'm going to be showing you guys the scents that i want to use this summer so the project is going to go from now all the way until august the end of august and i just have chose some scents that i want to get finished out of my collection so i chose two sets of everything so i have a daytime scent and then i have a nighttime scent and those are the two scents that i'm going to focus on for the month i'm not going to use them every single day obviously because i have new scents that i want to try and then just fragrances that i love that i don't want to neglect but for the most part these are going to be the scents that i actually focus on and want to finish up so i don't want to be too hard on myself or too strict on myself if I don't end up finishing these products, then it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys the products on camera so I can like have a log and be able to come back to the video to see where I'm at. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get started. So the first set that I want to show you guys, which I'm actually almost done with already, this is my Malibu Heat set. So I have the shower gel, the body cream, and the spray. Now, the reason why I am wanting to finish this set, and by the way, I'm not wanting to finish the spray. I'm just wanting to get low as I can on the spray, but I am wanting to finish off the body cream and the shower gel because I have another Malibu Heat body cream and two lotions. So I have a lot of Malibu Heat that I just need to get through. So I don't care if I don't finish the spray anytime soon just because I still have like I said another body cream as well as two lotions to get through so if the spray sticks around that's okay but let me just show you guys where I'm at so this is the shower gel and as you guys can see I've used up a good amount of this I am gonna mark it with a sharpie but I don't know how well this mark is going to stay on the actual packaging if I have it in the shower. This is just going to be for reference for my next video, like when I do an update. But again, like I said, I don't know how well that's going to stay on there for when it's in the shower, but it is marked. Okay, and so my cream, I actually use this today. Like this is my scent of the day. So I need to go ahead and squeeze some of the air out so that I can accurately measure where I'm at. This is where I'm at pretty much with the cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that, which I'm super excited about. I have a feeling that when my hands start getting greasy and I'm trying to get the lotion out of here, those marks are gonna rub off. But anywho, you guys are gonna have this video reference. Um, so yeah, I marked that and then I'm gonna go ahead and mark the spray as well. Yeah, the spray isn't really my focus just because if I can keep it around for those other, um, the other cream, I don't wanna keep it around for the lotions, but maybe the other cream, you know, that's fine. So I'm giving myself until the first week of July to have this finished. And I feel like that's feasible for me to have both of these things done by the first week of July because they're pretty much almost gone anyway. And what is today? I don't know, today is like the 25th, I believe. 
So yeah, these will probably be gone in no time and I'll probably be able to get the spray a little bit further down if I keep using it with that cream. And then I'm also gonna throw a perfume in the mix because I want to be able to use my perfumes as well. I don't want them just sitting for years and years and years and not getting any use. I decided to throw in my Escada Agua de Sol perfume. This is actually newer to my collection, but I don't have an issue parting with this scent just because it's it's a nice scent. I actually got complimented on this today. I was at the post office and I got complimented on this whole entire set that I wore. So it's not a scent that you know I really hate or I really love. It's just nice. It's really nice, but I can part with it. So if I were to finish this perfume, trying to finish these uh, Malibu Heat products, I wouldn't have an issue with that. It's fine. I'm also gonna go ahead and mark my perfume. Some of y'all might cringe at this because I'm marking my perfume bottle, but it really doesn't bother me at all these are my products i really don't care this i'm trying to finish off by the first week of july hopefully i can do it or at least get super super close so then my bedtime scent the scent that i also want to finish by the first week of july but this is the scent that i'm only going to be using at night before i go to bed this is my bali black coconut sands set so i have been doing okay with using this at nighttime, but i think i can definitely do better a lot of the times at night i will definitely switch out for a new fragrance and not use this one so i'm just doing okay with it but i went ahead and marked the shower gel for you guys this is where i'm at it's a little above halfway and then the cream i actually have not squeezed all of the air out of this cream but in all honesty there's so much air in this packaging as well as there's a lot of cream i might as well just say that this is new it's not as full as a brand new body cream, but it's still pretty full. And I, like I said, I cannot squeeze all of the excess air out of here. So I will show you guys in the update what this one is looking like by the time I get there. If it's halfway, if it's all the way gone, we'll see. And then for the spray, I'm actually doing really, really good on the spray. I'm not going to mark it just simply because it'll be black on black. You guys won't be able to tell. But basically, the spray is a little bit below where the black on the packaging starts. So I feel like I'm doing really good with the spray. And this spray, I would actually like to finish up because I don't have any other Bali Black Coconut Sands products. So it's okay if I were to finish off the spray along with the shower gel and the cream. This smells so good, but I'm willing to part with it just because it smells very similar to the coconut fragrance from Bath & Body Works that came out during the springtime with the tropical line, so I'm okay. And then I also have a mini of the Bali Black Coconut Sand Spray. So I'm okay to part with that entire set and it would be really exciting to get both of those things out of my collection because the Malibu Heat is from 2018 and the Bali is from 2019. So they're not super old, but it would just be nice to get them out of my collection. Next, I already picked out the scents that I want to use for the month of July. For my daytime scent, I have this set here. This is Sweet Summer Sunset. And I actually do have the shower gel. Hold on, I forgot the shower gel. Here's the shower gel. But this is actually a scent that I forgot about in my collection. It is a forgettable type of scent. Like there's nothing super special about this. There's nothing where it's just like, oh my God, you need this scent. You need to run out and get it. I don't feel that way about it. And so so it kind of got forgotten in my collection, especially because this set is from 2016. So that lets you know that I forgot about her for a while. But as you guys can see, this is pretty much new. I used it a couple times in the shower already just to kind of decide, you know, whether I wanted to keep it or not. And I do want to keep it. I do want to try and use it up. So the shower gel, I just marked it for you guys for my update. And I'm going to go ahead and mark the lotion as well. And then I will also mark the spray because all of these are essentially new. There's not that much usage on any of these products. Um, and if you guys were wondering what the notes are, this is Juicy Pomegranate, Golden Amber, Wild Plumberry, Summer Lychee, Sunkissed Woods. So you see how it has all of those like really tropical, exotic 
sweet berry type of fruits in it and then it also has some amber to kind of warm up the scent so it's a really pretty like it says summer sunset type of scent and i'm also going to be mixing this one with a perfume so the perfume i decided to mix it with this is beyonce heat kiss perfume and the reason why i'm mixing it with this because this perfume also has pomegranate some berries some amber it's a floral scent as well and it actually pairs really really nicely with sweet summer sunset so i think this will be a nice daytime combination to wear in the hot hot month of july and even look the packaging they almost kind of go together so yeah I'm excited to get started using that for the month of July I feel like it'll just be a really really nice set to get into and that super duper hot heat wave that we're gonna have I know we're gonna have so I'm excited for that and then my bedtime scent that I'm going to use is going to be Victoria's Secret Pink Cozy Sugar. So I don't know if you guys remember when I hauled this, but they ended up sending me two lotions on accident. So I don't mind getting rid of one of the lotions now. And I'm going to use the spray along with this lotion. Again, I'm not focusing on the spray you know if I get halfway with the spray fine if I don't fine if I use it up fine it really doesn't matter to me because my focus is actually the lotion since I have two of these I only have one of the sprays so I wouldn't mind keeping it around but I am going to be using it with the lotion when I go to bed so this is full this is brand new it literally still has the foil wrapping on it so it has not been touched tampered with or anything like that so i'm going to go ahead and use this and then i have used the spray and it's just a really like it says cozy sugar scent it almost smells like toasted sugar it's toasted marshmallow and vanilla yeah there we go so it smells very toasty and kind of warm and sweet it's a really really nice fragrance i really really like it i remember this getting a bad rap during the um victoria's secret semi-annual sale but this is really good so i'm excited to use that as my nighttime scent for august i'm going to go back to malibu heat so i'm taking a break from it i'm using it now but for the whole month of july i just want to take a break from it use something else but for august i'm going to go back to malibu heat and i'm going to use up the second body cream that i have the lotions i'm not too too worried about them because again the lotions are from 2018 so they're not super old i feel like they're going to be fine so i want to get this cream finished up though and that's why i said i don't really mind not using up the fragrance mist in the month of june because i will go ahead and pair the rest of my fragrance mist with the second lotion that I have so yeah this is going to be my daytime scent again for the month of August to go ahead and get it finished off and then my bedtime scent for the month of August is going to be this combo right here you guys might see that this combo is very familiar this is the combo that I use to demonstrate my how I get my fragrances to last long um, I use these in that video. So this is the Bath & Body Works Chestnut and Argan Pure Argan Oil Body Cream. This, you guys, this is from 2017 and believe it or not, it still smells amazing. Like it smells so good and I'm looking inside at the consistency and it is not watery. It is still very thick. It smells amazing. So I'm lucky to have this and it's not you know it hasn't gone bad so i'm very lucky and then i'm going to pair it with victoria's secret velvet petals just simply because they smell very similar and as you guys can see this is pretty much gone so i will go ahead and mark where i'm at with the velvet petal spray and i'll try and squeeze out some of the lotion i mean some of the air out of this lotion to see where i'm at but i think it's pretty full i used a lot of it but oh no it's not full it's oh it's coming out look <laughs> haven't really used much of this at all but again i will go ahead and mark it to give a little bit of accuracy so yeah that's going to be my bedtime scent for the month of august those are all of the products that i wanted to show you guys i'm not including any hand soaps any candles nothing but body care i just my body care collection is the biggest thing so i wanted to focus on just body care products and i think i have a good start i think i did this in a way that's gonna work for me because i have a bunch of different scents 
and I have two scents to use for every day so that I'm not burning myself out on them and like I said I'm not going to be too strict if I want to take a break from it and use something different in my collection I definitely can so I think I've structured this project in a way that it's going to work for me and I'm excited and nervous at the same time to see how this is going to go but it's going to feel so good when I have a nice empties video for you guys so Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you're rooting for me for this Project Use It Up challenge. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.